last time on my Chronicles. I'm Samuel, David's teammate. I'm from I'm majoring in biochem. Why would he do that? What's he getting in return? Because he's a nice person. He didn't ask for anything in return. Sarah, niggas just don't do things out of the kindness in their hearts. This one does. He's actually one of the nicest men I've ever met. No one has anything bad to say about him. He's just a good dude. Sounds like you really like him. Well, like I said, he's my friend. Sierra, I'm sorry, but this just is not healthy at all. You need to break up with him before you're in too deep. You about to call your boyfriend? Yeah, you know how he gets. Hey, are you awake? <sighs> yeah. I've just been studying for midterms. How was the haunted house? Scary. And one of the clowns kept yelling racial slurs at us. See, that's why I don't go to things like that. I told you not to go. Remember the story of the girl that got killed in one? Wasn't that fake? Hold on, I'll check. Yeah, I can't find a credible source. Right. What's wrong? You sound upset. What happened? Dylan... I don't think this is gonna work. What's not gonna work? This relationship? I know the distance has been hard, but I'll be there next year, I promise. I can't do another semester of this. Where's this coming from? Is this because of the football players, Samuel? No, it's because I have to beg you to go anywhere. I can't sacrifice my entire freshman year because you have trust issues. It's not fair. What about what I'm sacrificing? I don't go out either and I'm transferring for you. I never asked you for that. You don't go out by choice. In fact, I encourage you to do more of it. You don't even know if you really like your school or not because you've been so busy worried about what I'm doing. I've been staying on top of you because I know that's what you always wanted. Isn't that why you and Philip used to fight all the time? Because he wasn't giving you enough attention? It wasn't just the attention. I wanted affection. I barely got to see him outside of school since he never drove. And he didn't like PDA, so sometimes I would just feel like he wasn't even my boyfriend. I never want you to feel like that with me. Trust me, it's impossible to feel that way with you. You never let me forget. But it's in a controlling way, not a sweet way. I'm afraid of losing you. That's a boyfriend's job. It's not your job to tell me where I can go and who I can talk to, though. Can you blame me? I'm four hours away and you're going to see niggas at their game because they're giving you free tickets. I'm not going to see him. I'm going for the experience. If someone offered you Mizzou tickets, wouldn't you go? For those of you who don't know what Mizzou is, it's Missouri's SEC school. So that means conference, you know, football. We're University of Missouri Columbia. We're kind of a big deal in our state. It would be like passing up Bama or Ole Miss tickets. When you're from that area, it's a whole ass activity, okay? Not if you ask me not to. Dylan. I'm not doing this anymore. Please, Sierra, I love you. You're the only person I want. Has that changed for you? I just feel trapped. I don't want to hurt you, but if the only way I can help you is by giving up my life... Hello? Sierra? Dylan, can you hear me? Are you there? Fucking androids, I swear I'll never go back. I used to go through these phones like air fresheners. If it wasn't the battery overheating or losing the ability to hold a charge, it was my shit-ass service deciding not to work despite having every bar. Honestly, I don't know what the problem was that night, but we had to finish the breakup in the morning. And my phone still wasn't working. I even tried the phones in the study rooms. I couldn't figure out how to work them. Did I press pound then dial? Was it a one? Then pound, then dial. Why wasn't there a dial tone? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is there any way I can help? If you could explain to me how to use this phone, that would be great. Here, just use mine. Really? Sure, I'll be across the hall when you're done. Okay, can you not judge me right here? I will admit it was 100% wrong to use my new love interest phone. It was fucked up. Shouldn't have done it. Ain't shit. I could have probably just as easily found another person way far removed from the situation to borrow a phone from. But I needed a phone. And here a phone was. There were no questions attached to it. A simple solution. Why make things more complicated than they already were? So do you want to take a break? You know I don't believe in breaks. 
After what Philip had put me through under the impression that we were simply on a break, it was safe to say that I understood that you were either with someone or you weren't. There was no in-between. But do you see us getting back together in the future? If I make some changes, I promise I'll be better for you. Please don't give up on me, Sierra. Please. Dylan, I don't want to make any promises. There must be something else then. Who is it? Because there's really no reason why we can't work this out. There's no one if else. If you really loved me, you would give me another chance. Dylan, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm tired of fighting and arguing. Please stop. Okay. Okay. I'll give you space. Is what he said. But I should have known he wasn't going down without a fight. I got calls from my friends. What happened between you and Dylan? He hit me up asking if you talked to somebody else. I got calls from his friends. Hey, 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 man. You gotta give my boy Dylan another chance. You gotta admire her. Hurt. I even got a call from my mom. Hi, Pumpkin. Is everything okay? Hi, Mommy. Yeah, everything's fine. Are you sure? Yes. Because Dylan called me. Or what? He told me he loves you. I want you to make sure you let him down easy. He was really upset. What did he say? He apologized to me because he couldn't make you happy and that he was wrong for telling you what you could not couldn't do. He's so dramatic. Yeah, he's a little emotional. I want you to be careful. He's having a hard time letting go. That was unfortunate because I, on the other hand, was not. I assumed that Dylan had gotten my mother's number during the time he drove up here for parents weekend. But why exactly did he feel comfortable enough to call her about our breakup? Wow, I've never been up here before. You didn't even need free tickets. You can see the stadium from right here. <laughs> yeah, except you guys look like dots. I'd rather watch it on TV. At least then I could see what was going on. You found this place doing astronomy homework? Yep, best place to watch the sunset in my opinion. I have to journal what it looks like every week. How do you like astronomy? Is that the field you want to go into? I loved astronomy until we started doing physics. Yeah, that's the thing about being in love with science. You can't have a relationship with it and not include math. I think I just like discovery, you know, new information. I'm not interested in the calculation aspects behind measuring mass, distance, and time. Can't have true discovery without calculations. You're not much of a problem solver, huh? Uh, as much as the stars fascinate me, I just don't see myself dedicating my life to solving the problems the sun might cause us. So what problems do you want to solve? No idea. That's why I'm undeclared. So you're just blindly taking classes? I mean, I have lots of interests. I just need to narrow them. And I feel like if you study something long enough, you're bound to run into a problem you either don't or can't solve. I'm hoping to run into that problem before I declare my major. <laughs> I feel you. That's the way I think too. So how long have you wanted to become a biochemist? I've always wanted to help people, make their lives easier. Starting with the sick, their problems are literally life and death. The sick need medicine to solve their problems. I need to understand how the body works to create the remedies for it. So biological chemistry just made sense. But I'm more referring to relationships. I really study people before I dedicate my time to them. It's important to know if their problems are beyond me. Like whether or not they're too damaged? She can be damaged. I think most of us are. But it's how she handles her damages that I need to be aware of. Because I can't put myself at risk with someone who's careless with their edges. As someone who'd been getting cut up all semester because of someone else's edges, I agreed with him completely, and Samuel knew what type of relationship I was in, because, well, everyone did. I wonder if he thought I was a fool. And although I was finally single, I was trying to convince myself that the breakup had absolutely nothing to do with Samuel, so I wasn't exactly in a rush to tell him. Hello? Hey. Sup? I wanted to let you know I'm in the emergency room. For what? Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I'm fine. I just haven't been feeling well. How have you been feeling? Lethargic, nauseous. I have a really bad cough <coughs> and headache. I think it could be the flu or pneumonia. It's probably just the cold. Yeah, but you know, it's flu season. Thought I'd get a professional opinion just to be sure. And what did the professional say? I'm still waiting to be seen. 
Just thought you should know where I am. I knew exactly what he was doing, because I've done it before. It was the same move I used to pull when I hadn't heard from Philip during our summer breakups. Tell him I couldn't eat or sleep to gain sympathy. And I knew Dylan's pain was real, because I felt it. But I knew he would be alright, because I was living, breathing proof that it's not the end of the world. I have to go, but let me know how it goes. People our age rarely die from these types of things. Did you ever find someone to go trick-or-treating with you? Nah, my brother sent me a care package with a bunch of candy, though. Hmm, what kind of candy? Nothing but the hits. I need to make sure you don't eat all that by yourself. Hmm, <laughs> nice try, but I don't need supervision. If you want to break your diet, all you have to do is ask. One or two pieces won't hurt me. Okay, so what you like? I got Skittles, Sour Patch, Take Five. No thanks, I didn't come in here for candy. Oh. My body's a temple. Right. Why didn't you tell me you and your boyfriend broke up? News really travels fast here. Is there a reason I'm the only friend you didn't tell? I'm hurt. I thought we were closer than that. I didn't tell everyone. People just normally ask about him. You usually don't though, so it didn't really come up. I ask you all the time, how are you though? So you're really good or have you been lying to me for days? <laughs> I'm really good. Good. What happened though, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, you know how he was. I just got sick of it. I already missed so much trying to cater to his issues. I didn't want to miss anything else. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I was hoping you'd see yourself outside of that. Everyone did. Well, I didn't want to interfere because my motives are a bit more selfish. What do you mean? I mean, you know, I like you, right? Um, actually, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, I see your face. It's red. Are you blushing? That's so cute. Shut up. It's the reflection of the chair. Sure. Stop looking at me. Can't help it. So, what now? Do you like me? Have you seen you? I'm nothing special. So we can go ahead and add humble to the list of things that Samuel was, because he was about as special as they came. The man of my dreams liked me. Me? How did I pull that off? We agreed that we wouldn't start dating immediately out of you know respect for my ex, and that we should get to know each other better first. But the next few weeks, y'all, lit. Like, one time, one time, this man bench pressed me. Like, how do you? I swear every time I saw him, I couldn't quite believe he existed. Everything was perfect. With one exception. Sierra, please. Dylan, we've been over this. No. I've waited patiently. I've been working on myself. I've been giving you space. I'm ready to be the man you want. That was impossible, of course. Because the man I wanted was exactly one floor above me and across. How have you been giving me space? By calling all your friends and mine so they can check up on me? Commenting on all my posts so your name still pops up in my phone? Informing me about your every sneeze? Crying to my mother? Really? Sorry for missing you. I just need another chance. Please, one more shot at us. You owe me at least that much. I owe you. Who was there for you? Picking up the pieces after Philip dumped you? Me. The same man asking you to give him one more chance today. Give me one more chance. No. You really changed. You used to be so sweet and forgiving. Hmm. The same girl you called naive? There's gotta be someone else. Just tell me. There's no one else. I was just a rebound then, right? You just used me to get over Philip, and now that you've done it, you're just tossing me aside. I gave you some confidence, and you're just throwing it back in my face, huh? You know what? There is someone else. I shouldn't have done this. This was the wrong way to handle the situation. But he was pissing me off. I knew it. It's Samuel, isn't it? As a matter of fact, it is. You fucked him yet? Actually, he's waiting till marriage to have sex. Bullshit, you're telling me that a D1 football player is a virgin? No, he's had sex before. 
He's just not having it again until he gets married. And I bet you he told you he wants to marry you, right, Sierra? Wake up. These are just lines. That man has sex. He's going to have sex with you. Chill out. We haven't even kissed yet, let alone talk about marriage. He's been a perfect gentleman and is holding off dating me out of respect for you. So maybe you should stop speaking so lowly of him. Out of respect for me? Neither of you have respect. That's why he gave you those tickets. If we truly didn't have respect, you would have been cheated on. The intention was there. I basically was. Oh, please. If you hadn't tried to smother me, I'd still be with you. I doubt it. He could doubt it all he wanted, but it didn't change the facts. The facts were there was a point where if I told him I was going to sleep and he saw me active on Facebook, it was a fucking problem. The facts were my friends had to give me an intervention because his insecurity was bleeding into every aspect of my life. The facts were I was much happier without him. So without him, I would stay. Although Dylan was a lot of things, he sure as hell wasn't an idiot. So it was worth thinking at least twice about his warning regarding Samuel. As we were getting closer, but not yet dating, I thought about everything he said and was. Was he too good to be true? It was honestly really only a matter of time before he did try me. So let's see, according to my Twitter, all right, November 1st, went to the haunted house, check. Tried to break up with Dylan, phone broken, check, let's see. All right, so these are some passive aggressive lyrics because the chorus is, things have changed for me and that's okay by Panic at the Disco. Obviously the change I'm referring to is the breakup, but I couldn't tweet those exact lyrics because Dylan was tweet watching me. Just trying to be slick. Hmm, these lyrics mean that Samuel has told me that he liked me and I cannot believe it. So this was November 4th. So wow, I thought, <laughs> I thought we had lasted longer. <laughs> I thought, I thought that we had lasted longer than this, but apparently we didn't even make it past 10 days because if this saltiness was on the 14th, then that would make this scene the night of November 13th. Sorry, is this okay? My first instinct was that it was more than okay because I really liked Samuel and I trusted him and he was so damn fine. But all I could hear was Dylan's annoying voice in the back of my mind. If we kissed tonight, would everything Samuel said about waiting till marriage go out the window? I had no qualms about waiting, obviously but I did fear getting played. What if they were all lines just to get in my pants? If we had sex, would our relationship die before it even began? Don't you think we should wait until we at least start officially dating first? Okay, let's make a deal. First date, first kiss? We just had our first kiss. That didn't count, you didn't kiss me back. Okay, fine, first date, first kiss. I remember being so proud of myself in this moment setting boundaries and being listened to and respected. And now that I look back on it, the rarity of the moments I had like this is kind of upsetting. Unfortunately, we would never have that first date though. The whole day had gone by and I hadn't heard from Samuel, which was unusual because he was pretty good about checking up on me, even before we shifted from friends to potentials. So I go to his room and he's just off. What's wrong? Nothing. I've just been doing a lot of thinking and talking to God. Oh no, that should not have worried me as much as it did. About? About last night. I shouldn't have kissed you. Oh, that, it's fine. Trust me, I'm 100% fine. Good, but I really don't see myself in a relationship anytime soon. I just have so much to focus on with school and football. I shouldn't be out here with girls in my bed, kissing them and leading them on if I'm not serious about them. Oh, I didn't know you weren't serious. See, I really do like you, but we should just be friends for now. No more extra stuff. I understand. And I really did. He was a biochemist major and a full-time athlete. I knew his plate was full. Was I hurt? Of course. But I could be his friend. This was not the day Samuel made me cry. I included this scene though because it affected me. I would forever wonder if I hadn't opened my big stupid mouth about dating him, would he have cut me off the very next day?
could we have been perfectly fine if we were just doing everything but sex without him being my boyfriend? I thought extremely high of Samuel. If he said he was focusing on school and football, then that's what he was doing. In turn, I focused on school and track. I joined the running club to get some coaching and even took a class every winter break. Your girl was on her shit, okay? Hey, money, what's up? Bitch, tell me why Dylan going in on Twitter. What's he crying about this time? Girl, he calling you all type of hoes. What? Yeah, he tripping. I'm gonna need you to check him. Oh, this nigga had lost his fucking mind. These youngins out here catching cases, damn the world change. Still can't believe they killed Mike Brown in broad day. My city crazy, they killing babies, that shit change. Niggas killing ladies, we won't fight to save them, these niggas lame. I come direct as a motherfucker, fuck throwing shade. My city strapped like a motherfucker, Lou Gaynor stain. We had trees in by the bundles of them, like a bouquet. Now watch my back, cause we always had cold summers, niggas perpetrate. And my city is full of OGs and rookies, and a bunch of acting niggas. I see right through them loose pussies. Them niggas are type to catch a body and cry to the jury. I probably plead the fifth and do my time or play hooky. I know about your life, I tell you that. Fortune cooking. You say it's shooting, that's a toy store, a Colin Woody.